We finally have confirmation on the partnership between Nintendo and Microsoft for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Well, what's it all about? What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your blocked content for today. And we've been talking about this for a very long time, the idea that we might be getting another Microsoft newcomer in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And of course, a lot of people are wondering, well, we already have Steve from Minecraft, we already have Banjo and Kazooie in the game, that is the biggest deal ever, so why would there even be more, right? I mean, is that even precedented in Smash Brothers right now? To have that many characters from the same franchise? Well, of course, within Nintendo franchises that is the case, and some different companies have different characters from different IP, but I mean, my, this is Microsoft, right? This is gonna be the biggest deal ever if there is another character. And of course, a lot of people are wondering that that character is Master Chief from the Halo franchise. And that character is, of course, synonymous with the first-person shooter genre, kind of like how Doom Slayer is, because yeah, back in the day, Doom Slayer, of course, kind of coined the term, right? And kind of was the first one out there in the scene, but then Halo really opened it up wide, and I mean wide, right? Open and really incredible multiplayer. So we really all feel like if it happens, Master Chief is a character that really deserves to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So we've been looking for clues and hints to see if that is at all possible. And well, Phil Spencer, who's of course the head of Microsoft here, well, he talked about this a little bit, right? We've all been kind of rumoring what the Nintendo Switch was all about in his office that was just on his desk. And, and everyone was kind of saying, this could be a hint, right? He always plays his little hints in the background. Maybe this could be a hint to where it's all going, right? To potentially even get a little bit of a look behind the scenes to a Microsoft rep coming to Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, of course, I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and other fighters in our show Question Blocked. And if you want to send in your email, please send it to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I might answer your question live on the show. And also we have this beautiful new Discord. It's this awesome channel that if you click the link in the description, you'll be transported to a world where you get to talk with me and all of your fellow block buddies about all stuff Nintendo games and games in general and leak speculation. It's a ton of fun. So I hope to see you guys all out there. All right, guys, let's head in straight on all the news of today. And that is, of course, that Phil Spencer talks a little bit about why he actually has this console in his office. And of course, the idea that we might be getting more Microsoft reps in the game itself. So yeah, that final DLC fighter might actually come to fruition with Microsoft. Well, let's hear Phil Spencer's thoughts on this. And this originally comes to us from Dexerto.com. They have a lot of really great Smash news. They have a specific Smash section as well. So you can check that out too. And this was posted by Michael Gwilliam. And it says, Phil Spencer reveals why he has a Nintendo Switch on his shelf and Xbox fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So this is really exciting, right? Xbox boss Phil Spencer has finally revealed why he has a Nintendo Switch on his shelf and explained how Microsoft characters can keep on appearing in the Super Smash Bros. franchise. Well, Phil Spencer's shelf has become quite the story. With numerous projects seemingly teased on it, many have come to believe the Switch was no accident and a possible collaboration between Microsoft and Nintendo is in the works. You know, we've already talked about the idea that Microsoft Game Pass could be coming to Nintendo Switch, that that could be a big deal for the two partners, but yeah. It's strange, as rumors of Master Chief joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate have grown, the Nintendo Switch on the shelf has become increasingly relevant in the eyes of fans. And now Phil Spencer has finally explained the story behind the Nintendo console. Joining Kinda of Funny Games cast as a special guest, well, Spencer was asked about his shelf and how much thought goes into it. Well, according to Phil, it's probably a mistake on his part. So Phil Spencer's Switch mystery has been solved, right? Quote, this back here is really just a collection of things from people I know in the industry and friends, he said. And that's about it. I'm not trying to signal anything. 
Now, regarding the Nintendo Switch in particular, it was actually a gift from Nintendo and President Doug Bowser. Spencer was also asked about getting Banjo into Smash Ultimate. Well, Microsoft exclusive characters such as Cuphead appearing in the game, and if more things are planned with Nintendo. So could more Xbox fighters come to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Well, according to the Xbox boss, Nintendo is a quote, special company, and he talks with their people often. While he didn't tease any future announcements, he is very open to the idea of working more with Nintendo and even Sony on projects that he feels would help quote, grow the industry. So this may be a major blow to Master Chief's chances of coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although that doesn't rule things out completely. It seems as if this wasn't a big hint after all. And of course, if it was a big hint, he probably wouldn't tell us right now, right before the character is even announced. Spencer also said that he just lets studios such as Rare go and drive ideas or work with Nintendo. The same thing with Bethesda and some of the things that they're doing with Doom, which is really incredible. Doom Slayer is of course a highly requested Smash Brothers DLC fighter. Quote, I really just want to empower the creators to feel like they own the franchises that they're working on. They own those characters, stories, and worlds. Let them be the captain of the ship. I don't want to be the one to come in and match make in certain scenarios. So it looks like if we end up getting a character like Doom Slayer in Smash, it will be on Bethesda to actually make that happen. As we know, Bethesda actually did reach out about getting him added to the game. So it's possible we will see the Slayer as the final DLC fighter. Of course, there's no guarantee that we see an Xbox rep as the next DLC, but it's good to see that Microsoft lets its studios go out and try to expand their games into Smash. So there's a lot to go over here. I think that it's incredibly exciting that Phil Spencer is this open about working with Nintendo. And well, of course, this inviting to Nintendo as well. That is just something that a lot of fans are probably going really excited and crazy about. And the idea that we might be getting a final character that is a Microsoft rep or some sort of Bethesda rep because they now own Bethesda, I think would be so cool, right? A big third party character is the final newcomer and be it a character kind of like Ryu Hayabusa, that's also a third party character, maybe Sora from Kingdom Hearts, or a very much exclusive Xbox fighter like Master Chief, that would make a lot of people very happy. I think that if you go first party, there is a chance of disappointment, but if you go third party, I think people are generally going to be really happy because it kind of completes this whole third party idea that a lot of the fighters passes have now done. So yeah, I would be very much in favor of that. So what do you guys think of all the news of today? Do you actually think that Phil Spencer is, you know, keeping coy about that Nintendo Switch and that it means more? Or is this just the God's honest truth? So let me know in the comments down below. Today's common question is, do you believe Phil Spencer in this scenario? And also our previous common question winner is the user Lyra Note 77 saying, I hope to see Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica and maybe give them their alter ego powers in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Tommy as Okie Doki Jones and Changeling, Chucky as Chucky Chan and Stinky. Rugrats using their imagination was what the show was all about. And of course, I also hope that Doug Funny and Pork Chop get in as well, as Jimmy, Timmy, and Shredder. Maybe some Rocket Power or even Kablam. Snap from Chalk Zone would make for a great game and watch stand in. Kitty Catswell as Zero Suit Samus type character, XJ9 from Teenage Robot, Eliza Thornberry and Darwin, Donnie, Arnold, Gerald, and even Pete and Pete and Rocco. Thanks, Callum. Well, Lyra Note 77, thank you so much for sending in your comment. These are always so much fun to kind of read through, and I really like the ideas for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Of course, we're kind of transitioning from Smash into Nickelodeon sometimes, which I think is so much fun. Who could have ever seen that coming, right? The idea that this huge new game would actually be very interesting to all of us that kind of looks like Smash Brothers and is developed by, you know, a studio that's very familiar with Smash type games and that's actually competitively viable, right? So much fun. So I really want to share my roster ideas in the future as well. 
So thank you guys, of course, for donating to this channel and watching our videos. It really means a lot. If you support us through Patreon, you are a hero. And if you've not yet done that, but really wish to get in, well, patreon.com slash blocked content. That means that you actually get videos early. You also get to have contact with me person to person. And what's even cooler than that is you get to decide what our next videos are all about. So a specific leak speak topic or a snake codec, you name it. So subscribe to this channel, click that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there will always be more blocked content. See ya.